Thank you, uh, <clears throat> Mr. President, council members, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, for those of you who, uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Bobby Gore. I'm the current president of the Baptist Players Federation. I'd like to quickly update you on the uh, very positive progress recently experienced by the Players Federation, and then I'm going to talk to you uh, on something a little more personal. In recent months, uh, the Players Federation have registered over 250 members. At our recent AGM, we had a record attendance of 157 players from over 40 countries. And our elections for continental representation were uh, participated in by, oh, just a little over nine people. We have current, currently elected six representatives from North America, South America, Africa, Asia, Europe, and Oceania. We have uh, recently passed a new constitution and, for the first time, we have legally incorporated IBF. Our current uh, focus for the near future is to clearly define the affiliation between the IBF and the BPF. And of course, we also want to find ways that the BPF can support uh, the vision of Dr. Kang and the IBF. It is this vision that I'd like to speak with you about now. Because something very close to my heart, we heard the words earlier of Dr. Kang, that, I, that badminton will one day be the number one sport on our, not, sorry, the number one racket sport on our. Now one thing I've learned in my many years as a professional athlete is that when a human being allows himself to be consumed with a dream, that dream inevitably becomes a reality every single time. <laughs> To become the number one racket sport on earth is a dream that is supported and held by every badminton player I have ever spoken with. If we, as a group, can keep this dream alive and truly grow it in our minds and in our hearts, it will happen. It will happen. But now I have to make a challenge to you. Because there is a choice that every single one of us here must make today. It's a very important choice. That choice is to either become a protector of this dream or to become a destroyer. Too often in recent months and recent years, I've had players and coaches and administrators come to me with the problems, with the negatives, with the mistakes associated with IBS. Recent, uh, recent aggressive innovations. And I can tell you that this is a way, this is a guaranteed way to destroy the dream. So what I propose, what I challenge us all is to spend our energies finding solutions, coming up with new ideas that support the dream of Dr. Kang rather than to take it down. And most importantly, to be a protector of a dream is to lead by example. We must have the courage to believe ourselves, to actually know in our minds and in our hearts that one day soon, the dream of our president and of the council will become a reality. That badminton will be the number one racket sport on earth. Thank you.